Hi, I am Amit Lunkard. In this video, we discuss about the preparation in detail standardization of 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. This video contains the preparation procedure and the basic principle involved in standardization of 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Let's begin with the first part which is the preparation of 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. But before that you must know about what is molarity or what do we mean by molar solution. So molarity is defined as the moles of a solute per liters of a solution. Here the 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution means 1 mole of sodium hydroxide dissolves in 1 liter carbon dioxide free water. So 1 mole of sodium hydroxide which is nothing but the molecular weight of sodium hydroxide and molecular weight of sodium hydroxide is nothing but the sum of atomic masses of all atoms in a molecule. Sodium hydroxide having sodium, oxygen and hydrogen atoms. So this sodium having atomic weight 23 oxygen having 16 and hydrogen having 1. So summation of all these atomic masses of a sodium hydroxide molecule it gives the 40 gram which is nothing but the molecular weight. So molecular weight of sodium hydroxide is 40 gram. This means 40 gram of sodium hydroxide when it dissolves up to the 1000 ml the form solution having a 1 molar concentration that is 4 gram of NOH when dissolves in 100 ml gives 1 molar solution. So the preparation procedure you have to weigh sodium hydroxide and transfer this weighed sodium hydroxide into a beaker containing small amount of water. In this you have to use carbon dioxide free water. The provision behind use of carbon dioxide free water is as the carbon dioxide gas which is dissolves in water and it forms a small amount of carbonic acid and this carbonic acid will alters the pH of water and making it slightly acidic and here if you dissolve the sodium hydroxide in as such water then it will also utilize some sodium hydroxide. So to avoid this we use carbon dioxide free water. Now this form solution you have to transfer in a volumetric flask and making the volume up to 100 ml with carbon dioxide free water. So this form solution which having a concentration of 1 molar or this is the you will forms a 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Now second part is standardization of 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution which we prepared. The sodium hydroxide solution which is standardized using primary standard like potassium hydrogen phthalate oxalic acid. Here we use the primary standard potassium hydrogen phthalate. So why what is the meaning of primary standard? Primary standard is a substance having highest purity due to that it is not calibrated to other standards. So here we use potassium hydrogen phthalate as a primary standard. So this is the weak acid versus strong base titration using phenophthalene as indicator. The color change towards end point is from colorless to faint pink. Here is the reaction uh, in that this primary standard that is potassium hydrogen phthalate reacts with the sodium hydroxide and it gives a formation or there is a formation of salt and water. So here sodium potassium hydrogen phthalate salt get formed. 
so the procedure for the standardization you have to weigh accurately about 5 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate which is previously powdered and dried at 120 degree centigrade for 2 hours you have to transfer in a conical flask and dissolve it in a 75 ml of carbon dioxide free water and you have to add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator to it then you have to make a assembly ready like burette which is attached to burette stand and you have to fill up this burette with the prepared sodium hydroxide solution add sodium hydroxide from burette to this conical flask until there is a formation of a permanent pink color so this is the end point so while doing this you have to take three readings and after that you have to make a average suppose you will get a burette reading of 24 ml and this burette reading you have to use for the further calculations now next one is the calculations here is the reaction we have seen uh, potassium hydrogen phthalate reacts with sodium hydroxide and gives salt and water so one mole of sodium hydrogen phthalate utilize one mole of sodium hydroxide so the one mole of sodium uh, potassium hydrogen phthalate is nothing but the molecular weight of potassium hydrogen phthalate and which is 204.29 so 204.29 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate which is equivalent to 1000 ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide so 1 ml 1 molar sodium hydroxide which is equivalent to 0.2042 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate now here we have taken 5 gram of potassium hydrogen phthalate and we get the burette reading which is 24 ml now here we want to analyze the molarity of sodium hydroxide which we prepared so here we as consider it as a x so just make a cross multiplication just make a cross multiplication and you will get x is equal x is equal to 5 into 1 into 1 divided by 0.24 24 sorry 0.2042 into 24 so the value comes which is 1.020 which is the molarity of a prepared sodium hydroxide here we want to prepared one molar sodium hydroxide but while preparing we will get the molarity of 1.0 20 so here the about the this molarity we find out by using this primary standard that is potassium hydrogen phthalate so hope all of you getting this the method of preparation of one molar nh and the standardization procedure as well as the basic principle involved in this thank you and happy learning